1951 I got married and lived in St Earth with my mother and after um, three years I'd been ill and because I'd been ill we got a council house in Carbis Bay where we stayed for eight years and we saved our deposit and we bought a house in Bel Air Terrace in 1962 for £2,750 which sounds ridiculous now but Grandad was earning about £10 a week and I went to work in the evenings and your mum was three and a half. She was home with me and so we took in bed and breakfast in the mornings, did the housework, cooked the meals and at tea time when your granddad came home from work he looked after your mum, took her in the boat in the harbour and I went to work in hollow shop on the seafront uh, from six o'clock till ten o'clock and it was a fantastic time, all the lights used to be on, all the shops were open and the streets used to be packed with holiday makers and it was lovely. We stayed there for um, 20 odd years and when Auntie Sarah was 17 we bought a bungalow in Carbis Bay because Grandad was scared up ladders. So we sold Bel Air Terrace for £47,000 and we bought the bungalow for £47,000. It was been empty for three years so it needed a lot doing to it. We had new windows and new carpets and new everything and decorated so we spent a lot of money about it. But we were there for ten years and Grandad died. And when Grandad died I stayed for two years. I couldn't afford to keep it anymore. Um, so I bought a little house in Carbis Bay. We had a fantastic time in the bungalow. I loved it. When Grandad died I had three children to look after which was very good and helped me and so it's been a fantastic experience and I'm very fortunate.